What's up, y'all? I am back for another video. We're here to kind of continue on my little Keanu journey. And I'm reviewing a movie. Like, it's another sports side of a movie I normally don't do. But this movie is really good. And this era of Keanu. Keanu from pretty much post-Matrix or around that time was just perfect. So, felt like, you know what? I'm going to do this movie. I'm going to review a movie called... Um, hardball which is a it's a sports drama film i think it's really well done um keanu's performance as a uh, connor o'neill who he's basically a gambler who gambles all his money away and he owes two people so he ends up becoming um coach of baseball team of uh inner city youth so to say and he basically has to learn to like him. I think it's a well-done film. Really well-done drama. Keanu's acting is really good. Um, Diane Lane's in the movie. You have a very young Michael B. Jordan. Um, but yeah, very well-done film. It's um, I kind of like films where a character has to, you know, there there could be like the worst position in their life and they have to get themselves out of it. Like another movie, I only watched this once, but that reminded me, was I can't think of the name, but it was a Ben Affleck movie where he had a coach. Coach, it's a more recent one where he had a coach a um, a basketball team. It's kind of like the same, somewhat similar thing, not for the same reasons, but like you know where a character is down on their luck and they have to do something to get themselves out. So I think it's a very well done movie. The acting is really good. This really good, you know, early two uh, thousands hip hop soundtrack. So. Really well done movie. And I actually even like the kid actors. When most of the time I don't. So I think that's a good sign. Um, also later today, like I mentioned, I'm going to be... I don't know what time, but um, sometime today, I will be, re will be reacting to um, the new Jurassic World Dominion trailer. So I'll be talking about that. And then tomorrow, if... I don't know when it will be because I think there's going to be a lot of shit going on tomorrow. So I got to see when I can do this, but I will be doing a reaction to this really cringy Showtime show documentary they're putting out called Everything's Gonna Be All White. It is easily the most racist thing I think I have seen. So it needs to be called out. So I'll be calling that shit out tomorrow. But other than that, let's uh, kick off this movie. opens up, we meet Connor O'Neill. Who <coughs> bets his father's dead <coughs> or his dead father's account. <coughs> and he's he's in debt with two bookies. There's a seat <coughs> where he gets beat up at his house and he has to pay this barber guy every week. <coughs> so he goes to this place and basically asks for a loan. They decide, okay, we'll pay you five hundred dollars. <coughs> Jimmy Fleming, I guess he's like the owner of this place, basically tells uh, <coughs> Connor, like, we'll pay you $1,200 basically over the course of the next few weeks because he has to coach a basketball team in the, in the projects. <coughs> Not basketball team, baseball team. <coughs> Um, but then he has to do it for like the next, I think, 10 weeks. <clears throat> and then this is where we meet the kids. Um, I'm not going to say all their names, but we have a young Michael B. Jordan. Um, and then we have, we got, uh, trying to, I think he's like the only one I fully remember, recognize, but, um, so he meets the kids. And, yeah, they're, like, rambunctious group of kids. It's, like, that kind of story, you know? So. Um. 
Yeah, and they basically yeah, all the kids trash talk. And I think even though it's more of a drama, it definitely has its comedic moments, and I think it's not overdone in this movie. And then, um, and yeah, and then um, we get some, you know, like you always think you could get the um, montage of them playing. It's kind of like replacements where they get their ass kicked initially, and they all are arguing, and then the teacher um, is. Uh, Elizabeth Wilkes is this because the school is like a, I think it's like a Catholic school and we meet their teacher um, Elizabeth uh, Wilkes who's played by uh, Diane Lane um, who I think she's really good in this movie she's the love interest she doesn't I don't really think she has a lot of character besides and that's fine so throughout the film Connor's starting to teach him and they actually are starting to get the hang of it and over the course of pretty much the movie is throughout a, like a, a baseball season there is one scene though when one of the kids because they're in a bad part of town so one of the kids uh because connor was waiting for his friend to give him um basketball tickets because he scalps basketball tickets for a living um they end up due to that they he end up staying longer than intended and one of the kids got home got robbed it's i'll admit it's actually a pretty fucked up scene and um yeah, it's a pretty sad scene. So he gets beat up. And then so Connor starts taking the school, taking the kids to the prop, uh, to practice himself. Um, and Connor has to make sure he has nine kids on his team. And, uh, and one of the kids is too young to play and mom and one of their moms this is going to be revealed later had to alter i think it was jamal's which is michael b jordan's character's certificate to make it nine like it's crazy like you get a lot of the, the, the um... um so he ends up wanting uh he asks scout um the teacher because you could tell they're they're starting to get a connection and this is a thing with Keanu in this movie. He's kind of a douche at times. Like, like because initially, yeah, he's just about this money. He doesn't fully care about the kids. He's more about, I need to get my money. So, but you see his growth. And that's the thing. You don't really see that a lot today is characters with an actual arc. That isn't just, um, or if it is an arc, it's like a really, really small arc. So it's Cause yeah, he doesn't. He's not. Cause Keanu in most of his movies, I'd argue, he's a he's always been a, even like you know in the Matrix, Point Break, you know the over the movies I reviewed, or even not the ones I reviewed yet. John Wick, he's likable. Like he's he's usually like not he's not a goody two shoes, but he's like that likable dude. In this, he's kind of an issue, like to be honest. So he ends up um, basically convincing the teacher to let the students play and then we kind of get them winning over the course of the season um and him you could clearly see that he's starting to connect with the kids because like one scene he takes them out for a uh, pizza um but then i think after that is where um one of the coaches or like the the head guy basically has to tells um yeah um not keanu tells um Connor to not let one of the kids play because this is where we get the reveal about the birth certificate. Jamal runs off and then he takes out um, I think Elizabeth for a date but then it kind of goes badly because he kind of snaps at her and then one of um, the bookies chases him down and then then we get I think no then we get the scene where it's revealed about Jamal, and then basically, Con oh no, because there's another scene where they're playing a game, and one of the kids, who like has headphones on, and that's what's giving him the edge of being a good pitcher. One of I'll admit this coach who bitched about it, I was just I was calling him all kinds of shit because that is some bitch shit. You're just he was so he's just mad he's losing, so he's like. I'm gonna run. He basically runs to the boss to say, "Oh, you gotta make that kid take his headphones off." And he's trying to say it's for safety. I'm like, "You fucking, f I can't say what I said, but yeah." So Keanu forces them to tell the kids that, and then this is where it's revealed. Keanu says that that, that this is his last game.
Yeah, so well, before that, Connor puts a $12,000 bet on, a, I think, a basketball game, and he ends up winning. Yeah, and this is where you kind of make, this is where Connor looks like he fucks up and really acknowledges that he's leaving, and the kids, like, you know, start being, like, ah, disappointed in him. Um, he goes to the bar where he owes, like, this one guy, and basically goes off on him. And then, um, he... He uh, goes back to his house, and this is where we see his friend. Who is his friend's just kind of there. That's why I'm not really talking about him in the review. Um, but he um, goes back to visit the kids, and this is where he just surprising surprises the kids and takes them to um, an actual MLB game and basically decides to come back. And this is where he starts really getting his uh, redemption stories. He takes the kids, and this is where we see Sammy Sosa for a second. He gives up gambling. He started, I think, by this point, starts dating Miss um, Wilkes, who she's an all right character. I, I love Diane Lee. She's always great, especially uh, as uh, Mark McKen. But um, um, they go to their final game, and then this is where Connor reveals <coughs> their new um, suits, and I think they win. Uh, G Baby and his brother are like out, and a bunch of dudes start shooting at each other, like gang members. And then, unfortunately, this ending did kind of fuck me up because I didn't remember this part. He ends up getting hit by a straight bullet, and it hits me because this happens in real life a lot. I'm not gonna go into full detail, but this happens a lot in a swift lot in a specific community. This happens a lot. So that's why it kind of really hurt. Even in, even in a film from 2001. Because this fucking happens now. So I'm not going to go too into that. I'll go into that in another video. But yeah. And um, so then we have a funeral. And um, Connor says some like like a nice speech. Um, and he basically, after the funeral. Which I think that speech scene was done so well. And by this one, I think Keanu's a real... I would say he's a really good actor. Like, that scene, when because he, when he's giving that speech, like, you could, like, he has tears in his eyes, and it actually looks real. It doesn't look like, oh, that's just water. They splashed on his eyes or something. So, he goes to the kid and says... Because he, he kind of wants to forfeit, but the kids don't. And they basically rally together, and I think they win, but they don't show it. Really sad movie, especially that ending. But it's all, it's a story of, uh, you know, redemption and Keanu playing a character he doesn't normally play. Like he's, like I said, he's a douche in this movie, at least in the beginning anyway. <coughs> like you could tell he was only in it for the money, but he eventually starts connecting with the kids. And <coughs> I gotta say, the kids are not bad actors at all. I think they did a really good job. They didn't feel like you're usual kid actors you would see that are just, you know, really bad. But I actually think they did a really good job, so. Definitely recommend this movie. It's a it's a drama. And, yeah, I'm not a big baseball or fan. Like, it's the same with the placements. I'm not the biggest sports fan like that. But if it's a well-done story and stuff like that, it's I gotta watch it. And the, the ending is really good. <laughs> It hits you, man. Like that, it it hits you because it's tragic. <laughs> Just because a kid died, <clears throat> he gets shot. But because I hate to say it, I'm gonna mention it again. This happens a lot. Um, so, but really well done, baby. So it's not gonna be one I'm gonna watch all the time because nine times out of ten I don't watch dramas all the time. I kind of prefer either you go like horror or action. I, don't, I just can't do drama all the time. But this is a well done movie. Keanu's acting is really good, and I feel like it's an underrated one. This is one a lot of people don't talk about in terms of when they bring up Keanu's, uh, but, um, you know, film stuff. It's just they don't. This one doesn't get mentioned a lot, so I think it's a really well done movie. So, <coughs> 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 
But other than that, <laughs> later today at some point, I'm going to be reacting to the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. <laughs> I wanted to do it on Thursday. I wanted to do it on Thursday, but shit came up. So I'm going to be doing that later tonight. And I, I, I got to say, I already watched the trailer, so it's not going to be like a first time reaction. I'd already watched it, but <laughs> it's not going to, I'm, I'm going to change it. It's going to be more of a breakdown. It's not really going to be a reaction since I already watched it. So, but yeah, I'll be doing that a little bit later. And then tomorrow we're going to be, I'm going to be going on that shitty showtime. Everything's going to be all white or everything's, I don't even really fucking know what it's called, but I'm going to be reacting to that shit tomorrow. But other than that, this is a really good movie. I would give this movie like a nine out of 10. Definitely. So like, yeah, I'll admit the last several reviews I've done, everything's been about a nine out of 10. So, but other than that, fuck Warner Brothers, fuck Disney, fuck LeBron, fuck Colin Kaepernick, fuck Elvira, fuck Seth Rogen, fuck Joy Reid, and fuck the Biden administration. I'll talk to y'all in a couple hours. Peace.